Uh, that's at 17 for the New Jersey Devils, now division rival Columbus in at 18. They lost the first round to Washington and probably still not over that. Up two games to none in overtime in game three. Pierre-Luc Dubois from two years ago, a center developed in a first line center. You see John Davidson up there. Seth Jones as well. No, no stranger to Dallas. No, this is his home, isn't it? I believe it is for Seth Jones. This is an organization made back-to-back -back -back appearances in the playoffs for the first time ever, Brian. And uh, Bill Zito was the general manager of Team USA in the World Championships. Thank you to Tom Gallardi, Jimmy Lights, the Dallas Stars. A special hello to our fans back in Columbus at the R Bar. Announcing our pick tonight is a man who was born down the road in Arlington, Texas, played his youth hockey here in Dallas, and has gone on to become an NHL All-Star. Please welcome Seth Jones. Thanks. Thank you. With the 18th pick, the Columbus Blue Jackets proud to select from the London Knights, Liam Foodie. Second London Knight to go in the first 18 selections. And the beat goes on. You talked about earlier Evan Bouchard moving up in rankings because that team sold off players. Nobody jumped as, as high as Liam did. No question about it. And it's very interesting to note that Part of the management staff for the Columbus Blue Jackets is Basil McRae, and it was Basil McRae who was the general manager for the London Knights at the time they selected Liam Foody, so they would have intimate knowledge of him. But let's put that knowledge aside for a second. This guy absolutely killed it in the testing, and there was a huge turning point in the season for him. That was the top prospects game. He was selected to play there when many thought he shouldn't have been, and after that game, he literally took off, scoring 16 goals in his final 24 games. The one thing that is absolutely electric about this, is, this guy is his skating ability. And you mentioned it at the combine. I don't know if there's anybody that knocked it out of the park like Liam Foody did. He went in there and absolutely destroyed the competition. And there's no question that had an impact on how the teams looked at him and what his capabilities were and the potential he had in that body. Speed, such an aspect in the game that's so important. And the way he finished the season, you love to see players develop and improve over the course of a year, and especially in their draft year. I'm a skeptic on how much influence the, the fitness testing has at the Combine, but Brian? You well, can... this kid's, the genetics here are pretty good too, so yeah. it's not just that his parents are fantastic athletes. Down to Jeff Merrick with a family. Now in 1980, 4x100 relay, we called her Francie Garot. Now she is France Garot, and she is the mother of Liam Foody, selecting the first round by the Columbus Blue Jackets. You won a silver medal. Your husband, Sean, won a great cup playing in the CFL. Where does this rank in the totem pole of family athletic accomplishments? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible. I just... It's, I never thought that this would happen, and I'm so happy and excited for Liam. You know, he was so outstanding at the Combine, really distinguished himself, and it seemed as if your family had a philosophy that was build the athlete first and the hockey player second. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Liam did a mo lots of different sports growing up, about 10 sports a year with his high school, and then he would play um, hockey, double-A hockey, then he went to play triple-A, so we always believed in playing, uh, doing different sports. So it's a wonderful philosophy, uh, outstanding achievement. Congratulations to your family tonight. Thank you. Tara Sloan. Well, here with Liam, uh, your mom was just talking about all the different sports you played. Now, she's a track athlete. You're an exceptional track athlete. What kind of edge do you think that gave you at the Combine? Because you killed it. Uh, yeah, I think it definitely helped me a lot. I did pretty well at it. And I, I think playing all those sports, uh, it definitely helped me out a lot and, and it got me in here. I know initially your mom wanted you to stick with track. Uh, do you think maybe she's okay with this now? Uh, yeah, maybe at the time she wasn't, but now I think she's definitely happy with the decision. And I also, I, there she is, watch, I want you to take a look. Yeah, she's pretty excited. She's pretty <laughs> excited. And I know that there are a lot of fans in London who are also very excited. It's an exceptional place to play. Give London some love. Yeah, they did everything for me. Drafted me when I was 16 and uh, bringing me in as a young kid. Uh, I was great billets there, great teammates, uh, great coaching staff. They all they got me to where I am today, and I uh, can't say enough. Lengths above the rest. Congratulations Thank to you. you, Darren.